The Venus flightwrap is a flowering plant best known for its carnivorous eating habits. The trap is made of two hinged lobes at the end of each leaf. On the inner surfaces of the lobes are hair-like projections called trichomes that cause the lobes to snap shut when prey comes in contact with them. The hinged traps are edged with small bristles that interlock when the trap shuts to ensure the prey can't squirm out. There are other carnivorous plants in the wild, but the Venus flight wrap is one of the very few that exhibits motion to actively trap its prey. The Venus flight wrap gets some of its nutrients from the soil, but to supplement its diet, the plant eats insects and arachnids. Ants, beetles, grasshoppers, flying insects, and spiders are all victims of the flight wrap. It can take a Venus flight wrap three to five days to digest an organism, and it may go months between meals. How does a stationary organism manage to attract, kill, digest and absorb its prey? First, it lures its victim with sweet-smelling nectar, secreted on its steel trap-shaped leaves. Unsuspecting prey land on the leaf in search of a reward, but instead trip the bristly trigger hairs on the leaf and find themselves imprisoned behind the interlocking teeth of the leaf edges. There are between three and six trigger hairs on the surface of each leaf. If the same hair is touched twice or if two hairs are touched within a 20-second interval, the cells on the outer surface of the leaf expand rapidly and the trap snaps shut instantly. If insect secretions, such as uric acid, stimulate the trap, it will clamp down further on the prey and form an airtight seal. Once the trap closes, the digestive glands that line the interior edge of the leaf secrete fluids that dissolve the soft parts of the prey, kill bacteria and fungi, and break down the insect with enzymes to extract the essential nutrients. These nutrients are absorbed into the leaf, and 5 to 12 days following capture, the trap will reopen to release the leftover exoskeleton. After three to five meals, the trap will no longer capture prey, but will spend another two to three months simply photosynthesizing before it drops off the plant. Plant owners should beware of overstimulating a Venus flight trap. After approximately 10 unsuccessful trap closures, the leaf will cease to respond to touch and will serve only as a photosynthetic organ. The Venus flight wrap occurs in a very restricted range in sandy shrub bogs in coastal North and South Carolina, where it is listed as an endangered species. The ecosystem that supports Venus flight wraps experiences frequent fires that clear out competing plants and volatilize nitrogen in the soil. Hence, Venus flight wraps have a corner on the nitrogen market immediately following fire, when they obtain three quarters of their nitrogen supply from insect prey. If fire does not reoccur within 10 years, however, competition with other plants restricts the Venus flight wrap's access to light and insects, and populations begin to decline. Venus flight wraps provide a fascinating example of how organisms adapt to stressful conditions, in this case behaving as predators to make up for the nutrient deficiencies in the surrounding soil.